Ukraine and Russia are neighbouring countries that share a border. And some people are worried because Russia, which is one of the most powerful countries in the world, has sent up to 100,000 soldiers to that border. There are suspicions it plans to invade Ukraine, even though Russia says it's not planning on doing this. An invasion is when one country sends its army into another country or area without permission. Ukraine used to be part of a group of states called the Soviet Union, which was ruled from the Russian capital Moscow. When it broke up in 1991, Ukraine became an independent country. The Russian president Vladimir Putin said last year he does not believe Ukraine should really be considered a country in its own right. But only a minority of the population in eastern Ukraine is Russian-speaking and wants the right to govern themselves. Eight years ago, back in 2014, two big things happened. Russia took back control of an area of Ukraine called Crimea, and the then Ukrainian president made plans to be closer to Russia, causing him to be forced out of power, with many protesters calling for closer relations with the West. Today, Ukraine is ruled by President Vladimir Zelensky. He says allowing the country to join the European Union would be a powerful blow against Russian power. But what does Russia want? It's worried about its own security and doesn't want Ukraine to join a military alliance called NATO. That stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and its membership includes the United States and Britain. Ireland is not a member. Russia thinks if Ukraine joins NATO, the US and its supporters will have too much power in the region. Countries like the United States say they are considering imposing new penalties on Russia if it invades Ukraine. That means they could take action to force Russia to obey international law or even stop trading with the country have been going on in Paris between Russian, Ukrainian, French and German officials to see if there's a way to calm the situation. It's unclear what will happen next. Europe and America want to know why Russia has moved so many of its soldiers to the Ukrainian border, while Russia wants countries in the West to back off.